Hi guys and welcome to this video. So this year for the holiday season, I am a, what am I? Oh, <laughs> I'm a sophomore in college. When you're in college, it's really hard to have a job and go to school full time and balance everything. And one of those things is definitely money. So I have this little list of beautiful things that I have done in past years and I've already done this year because all of my holiday shopping is done. But I'm like that. I'm just like that, okay? Uh, yeah, let's just get right into the video, why not? Okay, so the first thing on my list, I have other things on the other side, is the Dollar Tree. Do not walk, run to your Dollar Tree for holidays. Now I'm not even talking just Christmas, I am talking Halloween, fall, spring, anything you can think of, they get it for holidays. But especially around Christmas, which is I feel like what people decorate for the most, um, or at least I do myself, they have decor, wrapping paper, gifts, you can give gifts from the Dollar Tree. Okay, you're in college. You get a free pass. The Dollar Tree has the cutest bags and tissue paper and wrapping paper. All of my gifts are already wrapped. They're under my bed. <laughs> and another cute thing that I did was I wanted to get my girlfriend something small and cute. I didn't want them to feel like they had to give me a gift back and that I spent so much money on them. So I got them each a little stocking from the Dollar Tree and I just put cute little things in it that I know that they'll use. I'm not gonna necessarily say what I got them because some of them might watch this video. Rachel, I'm talking about you and Joelle. <laughs> but they were just cute little small things that I knew would be a nice gesture. And I love them and I care about them and I want them to have something fun for the holiday season. So that's something you can do. I also was able to pick up some little side gifts for my mom and for my sister. If any of your friends or family are into art supplies, they have such cute art supplies. I sometimes get gifts for the little boys that I babysit for and they have so many cute little toys and trinkets and coloring books. So that's always where I go. So if you go to your Dollar Tree, grab the gift wrapping paper and you can just get such fun things. So that's my number one thing. I got absolutely amazing decor, and when talking about decor, do not get me wrong, I also love Target decor. Who doesn't love Target decor? But something I found over the years is to get neutral color decor. So I get these little Christmas trees, and sometimes I've just been adding to my collection. They're in the little dollar section, which is not actually a dollar section because it goes up to $5. Target. It's kind of a lie. So all of my Christmas decor can still be put out. I don't have to feel like I need to go out and get all new because it doesn't match. So that's another really uh, good way I found to save money. Another thing that I use for almost everything in my life is saving one dollar bills. So I do not use cash a lot and I'm sure a lot of other people do not use cash a lot. But at the same time, I do get like my friends paying me in cash just to pay me back for pizza. Uh, my boyfriend's a server, so he always pays me back in cash for anything because he gets tip money. My parents will give me cash every once in a while, say like, hey, go get yourself some gas on my way back home. But it adds up. And so anytime you spend it and you get your change back in ones or someone just gives you ones, I do not spend that but rather I save it. Another Dollar Tree find was this little like accordion thing. I don't even know, but you can put labels on it. So I have, let's see what I have. I have school, fun, car, emergency, clothes, and holidays. So every time I get a one or a bunch of ones, I just like put one in each. And over the year, it adds up. 
I recently just got all my debit card information stolen. Luckily, it's all fixed. But I had to go two weeks without a card. And I didn't have access to any of my money. So I was able to go into here, into my emergency and fun uh, folder, and I had cash for myself, which really helped out a lot. So there's practical benefits, and also I had some holiday money. That's what I spent on all of my decor this year, and I was able to limit myself. The other thing is setting up a budget for each person. Now, I am not the best at budgeting. I am not a person who budgets every single month out. I am not like that. But it is very easy to know what you're making. I make enough that I can save around 10 to 5% of each paycheck on top of saving other money for my personal savings um, around the holiday season to spend. So I keep that in mind. I say, okay, I have $30 from this paycheck to buy a gift. And that's why I have my Christmas shopping done because I get it done then. So I bought a shirt for my brother. He's never gonna watch this, so it doesn't matter. Uh, <laughs> I bought him a shirt. I bought it probably a month ago because I got this paycheck. I said, okay, I have 30 bucks. That's usually how much my siblings and I spend on each other. I'm the oldest, so they don't even buy me gifts. My parents buy me gifts from them. So the fact that I buy him something is very nice at this stage in our lives. And I got that. So he was out of the way. I didn't go out and spend a bunch of money that I knew I didn't have. And it's all done in a timely matter and budgeting. I also knew that I wanted to spend around $30 on both my siblings, $40 on my parents, and so on and so forth. Like grandparents, if you buy presents for your cousins, if you know that you have a white elephant that you're going to have to do, my friends' gifts. I kind of just wrote it out real quick, just a dollar amount. And it doesn't have to be exact. Obviously, I bought something for my mom, perfect example, that was 50 bucks. Okay, I know that that $5 is not going to break my bank, but I also knew that if it was 60 I probably wouldn't get it because I only had that 45 and I wanted to stay within that budget. Okay, my very last tip, or whatever you want to call it, way I save money, is making my own gifts. So I do this for birthdays, holidays, anniversaries, and I feel like it means more because I put the time and effort into it and I personalized it. So I love taking photos. And even if you're not a big photo person, there's other ways you can do this. For example, for my boyfriend's birthday, I got him one of those album cover posters. But instead of ordering one offline from some random site, I made it myself. And I know some people aren't really into like designing things online but it's actually really easy if you want to get started I suggest using this app or website called Canva uh, you can go on you can do a lot of things for free I pay for a membership just because I use it so much but you can go on for free and you can make all sorts of different cool things so these are some of the things that I have made I have made these photo collages where I take out the background of a photo, which you can do under effects, and put in fun designs behind it. All you need to do is just get a frame and you can give it to your friend for them to put on their wall. Another thing that I do that's much simpler is you just take uh, a canvas, you print out photos, two 4x4 four four and two 4x6, four and you can make these collages. And all you need to do is just Mod Podge them on and then you Mod Podge over it afterwards. Mod Podge is cheap as well. And you can use it as decor for your room and gifts. So it's a win-win. And it is very cheap, but also so cute. And you can make multiple of them because you're saving money. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. If you made it to the end, Please like and subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be posting more because I'm going to be on winter break and I'm extremely bored. So <laughs> like and subscribe. Uh, I hope this helped. I know money is tight for a lot of different people. Um, I'm very fortunate for what I have, but at the same time, I think saving, especially when you're young and in college, is so important. 
down the line. I would rather save now and be able to buy my parents and siblings super nice things when we're older and they'll appreciate it more than right now when they all know my circumstances. So I hope you guys have an amazing holiday season and I will talk to you in the next video.